Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walters World and we're in the port city of Hamburg, the second largest city in Germany and the wealthiest. And today what we have for you are the five things you're going to love and hate about Hamburg. And we're here in front of the town hall, one of the coolest town halls in Europe and it's one of my favorite parts of the city. But as you know, I like to get the bad news out of the way first. So let's get started with the five things you might not like so much about Hamburg. And the first thing is, if you're coming to Germany, you're expecting half-tempered houses and a lot of buildings that look like the town hall. That is not the case in Hamburg. Hamburg was wiped out during the war. It has been completely rebuilt. It is a very modern city. I mean, they're the biggest construction site in Europe right now, building their, their harbor city. And you get this really modern feel here. So you don't get the old world Germany, you know, with the big pedestrian streets and stuff like that. Yes, they do have some old buildings here that are cool, like the town hall, St. Michael's Church and stuff like that. And they do have a few pedestrian streets, but it's not as over the top as you would expect in a city of a million people in Germany. So just know, this is not old world Germany. This is new, modern, creative, outgoing Germany here in Hamburg, not Fachwerk or half-tempered housing. But what's cool is if you want that kind of old world German, you can Germany, you can go under an hour away in 35 minutes, 40 minutes, you can go to Lüneburg where the salt mines are in this cute little town. Or in 45 minutes, you're in Lübeck, the Hanseatic city with the gates and all kinds of stuff. Beautiful places to go to get your kind of old world Germany fix when you have your modern metropolis here at the port and doing your business here in Hamburg. The second thing you might not like about coming to Hamburg is actually one of the things it's most famous for, and that's the Reperbahn. Because the Reperbahn, if you don't know what it is, it's a big bar and strip club, red light districty kind of place here in Hamburg. And yes, McDonald's is here, and above McDonald's is a strip joint. I mean, it is the definition of seedy, seediness, basically. You go there, there's Herbertstrasse, where only men can go in over 18, where there's prostitutes, you've got strip clubs and bars and all kinds of crazy stuff. And for some people, that seediness is a little bit too much to take. So, if you're going to come to Hamburg and you don't like those kind of things, just don't go to St. Pauli. Don't go to the Reperbahn, okay? Because you don't have to have that seediness everywhere in, in Hamburg, but you will see it there in the Reperbahn. And I will actually talk about that in the loves of kind of the nightlife and stuff like in Hamburg. But that's the second thing that some people don't like is that seediness that comes from the Reperbahn and all the kind of sex stuff that's there. So it just makes people feel a little maybe uncomfortable when it's, oh, I'm having a beer and a McDonald's and the strippers here. So just know that that might be something you might get a little bit, okay, that's odd about Hamburg. The third thing you might not like about coming to Hamburg is the weather. It's like a bipolar city. Am I rainy? Am I sunny? Am I cloudy? Am I cold? I mean, it is just crazy. No matter when you come, what time of the year, the weather can change because it is a port city. So we're near the sea. So you know what? Whatever the sea brings us, it brings us. So make sure you're always having you know, your jacket with you even in the summer. We have an umbrella with us as we're going around because the weather can go back and forth any time of the day, okay? So just because it's sunny in the morning doesn't mean it's going to be sunny in the afternoon. So just enjoy the city when you can. And there's tons of great stuff in the city, but I'll get to that in the loves. But you're going to hate the weather, just be honest, okay? Now the fourth thing you're not going to like about when you come here is if you come in the winter, and I'm going to say like late October through March, a lot of the boat tours and the port tours, you can take the boats around and see stuff, aren't going on. And that's one of the coolest things about coming to Hamburg is all the water and all the, the port and going around and seeing all these things because it is a port city. I mean, this is the port city of Germany and it is so cool. But the thing is, if you come in the winter time, most of that stuff's closed. There's like one boat that's still going around in, in the winter times, which can be nice. But if you want to do the kind of water experiences here in the winter, eh, forget about it, okay? Now, the fifth thing you're not going to like about coming to Hamburg is, and that fifth thing about Hamburg you might not like is, since it is one of the wealthiest cities in Germany, it is also one of the priciest cities in Germany for restaurants and hotels. It's not super bad, but just know you spend more money here than you would in some place like Berlin, okay? So those are the five things you're not gonna like about Hamburg. Nothing really too bad, but what are you gonna love about coming to Hamburg? Because there's some cool stuff, like the town hall here, and going out and stuff like that. But, but anyway, let's get started. The first thing you're gonna really like about coming to Hamburg is all the water. Whether you're going down to the port and seeing, you know, Harbor City, or, or taking a boat tour on the Ulster, or, or through the port and all kinds of stuff, there's the water everywhere and you can really enjoy that. And yes, you can take a train or a bus and go out to some beaches out of the way, 
I really enjoy the city outdoors with the water, whether it's bike paths and running along the rivers or, or the lakes or the port. I mean, it's just really cool having all this water around because it's really influenced the city and the people, I mean, it's a port city, so the people here are more open, there's more international people here, more accepting, all kinds of cool stuff. Now, the second thing you're gonna like about Hamburg, we're going back to the Reeperbahn, is the nightlife here. Yes, it does have the Reeperbahn bars and clubs and the strip clubs and things like that that some people do like and some people don't like, and a lot of people come for that. But Hamburg's nightlife is not just the Reeperbahn. They have so many cool districts or fjords around town that you can go to and get really good drinks, high quality drinks at a fair price, because the Germans are good at that. High quality, fair price. Not cheap, but fair. And you can go around town and really have a great time all around the city. And yes, they have theater and they have opera and they have theaters and movies and all kinds of stuff. But they have clubs and parties and all kinds of things. So whether you're an old man like me or a, you know, a college kid going around, there's nightlife for you from cafes to restaurants, bars, all kinds of stuff. And yes, it could be Reeperbahn fun or it could be drinking some Mai Tais and zombies with your buddies at some cool you know, hipster kind of bar out, out of town. The third thing you're really going to love about coming to Hamburg is, yes, I know I said that there's not a lot of old world Germany here but there's a lot of old world Germany you can see within an hour. There's three really great, or actually probably four really great uh, day trips, or more actually, from here in Hamburg. One, you go to Lübeck, 45 minutes on the train. This Hanseatic city with the Holsten tour, the Holsten gate, and, and the, the St. Uh, Miriam's church there. It's huge, third largest church in Germany. All the old town with all the spires there. It's just the cutest town. It's one of my top 10 cutest places to go in Germany. Or you can go to Lüneburg, 35 minutes away on the train. Old salt mines there, the cute old town there. I actually used to hate asparagus until I went to Lüneburg. It's that nice there. You fall in love with asparagus. Who knew? Okay, or if you want a, a bit bigger city, an hour away, you can go to Bremen and see the Bremen city musicians. Or if you want to go to Hanover, it's about an hour away. Or if you want to see some of the beauty of, you know, eastern part of Germany, you go to Schwerin and their castle there. You can see the, the, the Ossee, you can see the sea in, in Wiesmar. I mean, there's so many cool day trips from here that yes, you have this big city here, but you can go and explore old Germany as well. And that's one of the cool things about Hamburg. You can do that. So the fourth thing you're going to like about Hamburg is actually the stuff to do in Hamburg. Yes, they do have one of the coolest town halls in Europe. I mean, it is really cool. And you know what? The Kunsthalle, the art museum, has a great collection. If you like Rubens or Warhol, they have it here. Go to St. Michael's Church. I mean, there's a lot of churches around here to check out. There's so many cool things you can do. It's not just a port and work here, okay, and, and a reprobat. There are still sites and museums worth checking out great restaurants and all kinds of things. So you can take in the culture and atmosphere of the city is pretty cool. And the fifth thing you're gonna like about coming to Hamburg is the openness that a port city brings. You know, Germans tend to be somewhat a little bit cold, as people say. Once you get to know Germans, they open up. But here in Hamburg, they open up a bit quicker, a bit faster. And for me, I find them to be very much opener to new cultures, new people, getting to know people, joke around. I mean, joking around, Hamburg, what? You know, you have this kind of different vibe here in Hamburg than you do in other parts of Germany. Don't get me wrong, all of Germany, I love it, but here there's just a different vibe with the people, and so that's kind of a cool thing. So, those are the five things that I love and hate about coming to Hamburg. What are yours? Please put it in the comments section below so we can have more loves and hates about Hamburg and help you have a great time here in Hamburg. If you want to learn more, check us out on our website at waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram, and we do appreciate all your subscriptions, likes, comments, and everything. We look forward to seeing you soon. Tschüss from Hamburg.